The outstanding employees have told me they want to follow me, so I'm going to go independent. Sorry about that. <laughs> I understand. If the two of you want to do that, I won't stop you. You tricked me, didn't you? Huh? What are you talking about? My name is Keiichi Sato. After studying business abroad, I opened a cafe called Doki Doki with my classmates and juniors who are university students. Keiichi, the bread for lunch is ready! Thanks, Aya. Your bread is especially excellent, so I can serve it to our customers with confidence. <laughs> Flattery won't get you anything, you know. <laughs> I trust your cooking that much, and I think the business will be stable going forward. I see. If Keiichi, who is knowledgeable about business, says it'll be stable, then I guess we can rest assured. Well, I was talking about it... A few months later... Huh? <gasps> Closing the shop? What are you talking about, Keiichi? Yes, exactly. Even though the business is on track. And I thought we could continue running the shop together. Why are you closing it? I understand how everyone feels. But from a business perspective, I think we're going to hit a big wall in the future. What do you mean? The current selling point of our shop is the concept of a cafe run by university students, right? You and I are about to graduate from university soon. When that happens, we'll lose the university student brand. Then why not just continue managing the business as working adults? Running a business with only family and close friends won't work in society. Even if we continue to run the business as is, it's clear that customers will decrease and the shop will decline. I see. When you put it that way, it might be true. Huh? Ogawa, are you on Keiichi's side too? No matter what Keiichi says, I'll continue to run the cafe. It looks like we'll have no choice but to part ways here. Since I have outstanding employees who want to follow me, I'm going to go independent. I'll follow Onizawa-kun as well. Sorry about that. <laughs> I understand. If the two of you want to do that, I won't stop you. Three months later, Onizawa and Mika went independent with a new cafe called Sai. It seems the other employees had strong feelings for Doki Doki, so they followed Onizawa, leaving me alone. And on the last day of operations... So, this is the end of the cafe that I ran alone. Excuse me? Hello? Oh, sorry. I was just about to close the shop, so I'm sorry. I heard today is the last day of business. Such a wonderful shop. Why are you closing it? There are some circumstances and so on. I see. Then, I'd like to make a suggestion. Two months later. Hello, this is Keiichi. You tricked me! I trusted you and opened a new cafe, but... Huh? What are you talking about? Anyway, I want to meet and talk. Please make time for me. That's fine, but... The next day. You've always praised Mika and the other employees. As talented and invaluable to the cafe. I thought they would do well at the new cafe, but in terms of management... They're like complete novices, and they're incredibly sloppy with food and equipment cost management. Sales have dropped drastically compared to when I was running Doki Doki. I did pass on some of the management know-how, but most of it was handled by me, and I gave directions to the employees. They didn't have the ability to handle everything perfectly on their own. Were you anticipating this situation? Since it was a joint management, you should have had some management knowledge too, right? You couldn't do it either? I entrusted it to you because I knew you had the knowledge. And I'm not the type to give directions to others. I thought Mika would listen in detail. I tried to imitate Keiji, but it didn't work. Then that's a huge misunderstanding. Damn it! Is your cafe not doing well? I heard Mika's father is a top consultant at a consulting firm, and you said he'd be able to help with the shop. But the consulting fees are quite high, and we simply couldn't afford them. 
We were deceived by you! No, no, how is that deception? I did say that help might be available, but I never said it would be free. You'd think that if it was your daughter working at the cafe, she might get free support. My dad is quite strict in unexpected ways. He's a consultant for a living, after all. It's not like he'd just freely share his business know-how. Ugh, that's true. But didn't I save up money to cover the consulting fees? Couldn't you use that money to solve the problem? W well... Um... It sounds like there's something going on. What's the issue? We decided to get high-end equipment to renovate the shop. And used the saved money for that. Huh? You ended up spending all the saved money? Yeah... What are you doing? Well, I thought high-end equipment would broaden our cooking options. And it looks better, too. When you get high-end equipment, it seems like you have some sort of backing or investment. The homemade university student cafe vibe that you and the others were trying to carry over from Doki Doki gets lost, and it could damage the brand image. So what we've done... From a branding perspective, it could have a negative impact. What? No way! Going forward, I think it's better to consider the brand image of your own cafe and manage it accordingly. Be careful from now on. Uh, how dare you speak so arrogantly? What about you? What are you doing now that Doki Doki is closed? I was introduced to a property by someone. I've been self-studying how to run a local, homey type of shop, and I'm now managing a small eatery. I'm also working as a consultant on the side, so it's like wearing two hats. No way Keiji has those kinds of abilities. Well, considering your business skills, it might actually be possible. In the end, it means you helped us too. Ugh! It's so frustrating! A few days later... Onizawa-kun! I have good news! I cried to my father, saying the current management wasn't working. And he agreed to give us some advice on managing the shop for a lower fee. Really? Even putting aside the fact that you're Mika's boyfriend, I've heard from Mika that your bread is absolutely excellent. How about transforming into a cafe specialized in bread? Specializing in bread? That might be a good idea! Thus, Aya, with the help of Mika's father and his acquaintances, achieved great success by focusing on high-end bread. This could really work! And it looks like it will grow into a top-notch shop with multiple locations! I'm so glad I relied on my dad! Yes, thank you, Mika! However, a few months later... Onizawa-kun. Ah, uh, Toshio-san! We've just finished baking the new product bread, would you like to try it? That's not the issue right now, something terrible has happened. What's wrong? The global situation has changed dramatically. The price of wheat is going up. What? What? A year later... Keiichi, it's been a while. Aya, what's brought you here to the shop all of a sudden? I wanted to see what kind of place you're running now. So you're Mr. Onizawa. He used to manage the cafe with Keiichi. I've heard about you from Keiichi. This is Yui Suzuki the investor who encouraged me to take over this cafe. It's a simple, homey place. It suits you. It seems like there are quite a few customers. And people coming out of the shop say it's cheap and delicious. I see. Thank you. So, I can't believe you came just as a customer. What exactly are you plotting? I came to ask you a favor. Would you consider coming back to our cafe? Huh? We realized that we need your business skills. Sorry, Mr. Onizawa. Isn't it a bit selfish to try to bring Keiichi back? Just because you found success? I heard you left to start your own shop without even considering Keiichi's opinion. With the recent global changes, the price of wheat has increased. Your shop, which specializes in high-end bread, is now facing severe difficulties, isn't it? Y yes that's right. But I believe that if you came back... You could use your management skills to revitalize the current situation and improve our branding. 
I'm sorry, but I have no intention of returning to your cafe, Aya. The management and profits of this shop are stable now, so I have no desire to team up with you again. I would also be troubled if this shop were to close. Could you please reconsider? Mika's father has promised to provide solid support going forward. Mika's father is not the type to offer strong support. I can't trust him. What? I made friends with a skilled consultant while studying business management, and I've heard no good things about Mika's father. He seems to only take on jobs that are already somewhat profitable. But we managed to turn our cafe around thanks to Mika's father. That was only temporary, though. If he were truly skilled, he would have been able to respond quickly to the increase in wheat prices. W well, that might be true, but... And you probably have no intention of listening to anything I say, do you? That's not true! I advised you to stay close to the university, when you went independent because it's an essential spot in this area. But you were overconfident in your abilities and didn't listen to me, opening the shop far from the university. In the end, the method I proposed would have been stable and profitable, but ignoring it led to the current situation. I didn't think you could foresee the future so accurately. Also, I thought my bread would be successful anywhere. You're overconfident in your abilities, Aya. And don't you think continuing to employ university members as staff is enough? I've heard rumors that the employees at your shop don't have very good attitudes. Yes, I want to take those concerns seriously and address them properly. As a co-manager, I'll listen to your opinions and cooperate. So, I hope you'll come back and save everyone! Enough of this! Doesn't that mean you want to leave the management and staff training to Keiji while you stay in a safe and comfortable position? I can't work with someone like that! L that's not my intention at all! No, you just want to rely on Keiji. That's not true teamwork or partnership. It's a failure as a manager. Yui-san... Your remarks about Keiichi are extremely rude, so please leave! If you continue to insist on pulling Keiichi-san back as a manager, I won't allow it! W wait a minute! And so, Aya was kicked out of my shop. Ah, welcome back, Aya! How did the discussion with Keiichi go? Well, he <laughs> flatly refused. Uh, I figured that would be the case. Please, Mika! I want to request consulting services from Toshio-san again! Could you please ask him on my behalf? Sorry, but that's not possible. I've realized that continuing with Aya is no longer feasible. And I've decided to follow my new boyfriend! See you! <laughs> no way! Wait a minute, Mika! After losing his supporters, Aya closed his shop and began working as an ordinary office worker. However, lacking social experience, he seems to be constantly scolded. Mika switched to a new boyfriend and tried to help manage another shop, but faced a major failure. She now apparently has a huge amount of debt. Mika's father tried to establish himself as an independent consultant and ventured into various businesses, but he failed, and is now evading creditors along with Mika. As for me... Keiji-san, this month's sales have far exceeded our target. This is all thanks to Yui-san for reaching out to me. I always believed in Keiji-san's management skills. As a manager and a person, Keiji-san is someone I can trust. Thank you very much. I will continue to do my best. Thank you for watching until the end to the channel as well.